What is going on YouTube? You are watching Jay's Two Cents and today we are gonna take a look at the question that you've been asking over and over and over again. How does system RAM speed affect gaming performance? And this is a little bite of tech. Now right off the bat, you're gonna notice some really funky RAM speeds here showing in my BIOS. And the reason for that is, in order to get the max printed RAM speed on your module, you actually have to overclock your processor. You see, I have 1866 megahertz RAM here installed on my computer. However, the memory controller in the chip only can handle 1333 megahertz at stock speeds. In order to get the higher profile speeds on the RAM, you have to overclock the CPU. And the bus speeds on my processor right now just happen to be making for some really unconventional RAM speeds but this video is going to give you an idea of what to expect. Now rather than use a live game like Battlefield 3 or Crisis 3 or something along those lines for benchmarking, I opted to use Unigen's Valley Benchmark for consistent frame rates and comparisons just to see exactly how system RAM affects gaming performance. And the results just may shock you. Now it's important to note that I have my GTX 680 currently running at 1,352 megahertz and I have my AMD FX 8350 running at 4.8 gigahertz. And the reason why you wanna overclock your graphics card and your CPU when doing stress testing and RAM testing is because you wanna have the most amount of load on the CPU as possible. This way, if RAM turns out to be any sort of a bottleneck, it's gonna show. And in this case, in the benchmarks, there is absolutely no frames per second difference between 1,279 megahertz and 1,920 megahertz. If the benchmark doesn't see it, this means you're not gonna perceive any sort of frame per second changes while gaming, regardless of the RAM speed. Which brings me back to the whole reason for making this video is do you need fast RAM speed when building a computer? The answer is no. But Jay, what if I wanna do videos? What if I wanna make YouTube? What if I wanna live stream? Then do I need faster RAM? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and take a look at the effects on how RAM speed affected render time in Sony Vegas. I rendered this one minute sample clip on all three RAM speeds. And as you can see at 1279 megahertz, it took a one minute and 12 seconds. That very same clip took exactly 1 minute and 8 seconds when rendered at 1600 megahertz. And once again at 1920 megahertz, we dropped it down to 1 minute and 6 seconds. So that 6 seconds faster rendering speed on a 1 minute video by simply raising the clock speed from 1279 to 1920 on the RAM. So how exactly does that kind of performance difference equate to a benchmarking number? Well, I'm glad you asked because I put this processor at the three different RAM speeds through the ringer with Cinebench 11.5. And as you can see, we got an 8.3 at 1920, an 8.27 at 1600, and an 8.26 at 1279. So the difference is definitely very minimal. So RAM speed is definitely not as important as overall CPU oomph and power. So how does it compare when it's run at stock speeds? It fell on its face at a 6.90 Cinebench score. So as you can see, processor speed and overall power is much more important than RAM speed when it comes to the general purpose usage of your computer. It doesn't matter if you're rendering, gaming, streaming, YouTubing, pornographying, it doesn't matter. RAM speed is okay, but your processor definitely comes in at number one. And if you missed the video where I talked about how much VRAM your video card's really using, click the video on the left to be taken to that video. And if you're a new subscriber, I want to sincerely thank you for joining my channel and joining this beautiful experience that YouTube is turning out to be. And if you just happen to stumble across this video or you just found my channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna like what you have to see. I've got all sorts of videos talking about PC gaming and general technology, and I'm bringing back my, my original technology news show called Tech Addiction on May 24th. I'll see you then, and as always, I will see you when I see you in my next video.